Let's talk a bit about Boot Popper, the film debut of JPW Pictures. I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting much from this feature, but it surprised me in many ways. Here is the story. It's all set in the fictional realm of Clelonia. The protagonist is 10-year-old dude Popper, who during his outdoor walk stumbles across a blue stranger. That blue stranger is soon revealed to be the villain, Dr. Evilkins. Evilkins? Ha, what a name. The first, I wanna say first 17 minutes, are spent on developing dude and his family, as well as some interactions between the villain and the hero. I will say, one thing that confuses me, is that the first action scene, which is about five minutes in the picture, ends with evil kid saying that kid has ruined his plans. Ugh! That stupid moron just defeated me so easily. This is absolute humiliation. Why should I destroy him? Because he ruined my evil plan. All he was really doing at that point was harassing an innocent lady. That one also confused me. The first act also seems a little bit rushed, with Dr. Evil Kin spitting out schemes one by one. I can sense the establishment of some rivalry, which I would otherwise never have noticed if the plot didn't actually begin. After those encounters, Evil Kins and his reluctant minion Bob find themselves in the underworld and strike a deal with the devil. Ooh, I can guess what kind of deal it is. If Evil Kins can get Dude Popper's soul to the devil, then Evil Kins can take control of Cleolonia. I'd hardly call that a guess, since both of us have already watched the film. Agree to disagree. Oh, and about Bob, I found him to be more than just the reluctant minion. He sure is resilient for that position. Felt fresh, like Walter Coca-Cola and Happy Wheels chaos ensues. While the evil Kins is a decent character, I hardly understand his motive at all. He's one of those, because I can, types of villains. Being good means nothing for me. Evil is everything for me, it just feels so much better that way. I think we should add a couple lines to satirize this type of villain. Like... <clears throat> That's not a good reason to do evil. I don't care, the writers were lazy as. Okay no, I wouldn't imagine it going this far, but you get the point. For characters, I find Dude Popper very relatable. I mean yeah, he's pretty arrogant. But it's justifiable. He's already fought a villain at that young of an age and because of that, he's sure to think, I'm the freaking messiah, bow down to me peasants. But not to worry, he soon gathers humility. I might have had the same mindset under those same circumstances if I was that young. But the character I really like is dude's Uncle Bernie, who acts as a great father figure, really caring for his nephew and doing what he can to make sure he's safe. Even if he did seem a little overprotective at first, I like his supportive nature, and what really lets me connect with him is when his moments get emotional, such as him questioning his fulfillment of the promise to raise him well after dude's father was taken by the devil. That's the best part about his character. Though the film is mostly a light-hearted story with occasional dark moments. Kinda like a Pixar film. Of course you can't expect the animation of a film debut to be spectacular. Not that much disappointment here. I mean the animation is good, but doesn't exactly match up with Plotagon animation standards today. Like with the second Lizzie movie The World at Control, and Happy Wheels 2 Virtual Madness, this film uses the Windows 10 video editor to put it all together, but this film doesn't use its full capabilities. There are some usage of visual effects, but not many. In the moments where an explosion occurs, the fade and white command is a good effect for a 2018 Plotagon film, but in a Plotagon film made in 2021, we'd expect a better looking explosion, especially since the film was made using the Windows 10 editor. I would have expected more visual effects. But overall, I'm sure the two of us can agree that it was a fun movie. I agree, I really liked it, and I recommend it. The film gets a thumbs up from me.